Hey guys, it is finally time to take a look at some new Star Wars Black Series figures. This is the long-awaited wave uh, that has the new photo reel tech, and of course, there is no better place to start than with the new Ray figure. So, uh, Hasbro Toy Shop put these guys up uh, in the early morning hours this week, and I was able to get a hold of Ray, DJ, and Rex. Thankfully, uh, due to the efforts to a, a good friend of mine who happened to be up in time to get them. And we're going to take a look at Ray first today. DJ and Rex will be in a different video. So, um, standard box, nothing too crazy here, nothing we don't uh, see elsewhere. We've got right up on the back, figure in the window. She is number 58 this time around. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's crack her out and take a look. All right, guys, so here she is out of the packaging. So we're going to take a look first at the soft goods, because if there's one place that I have kind of a, you know, a problem with, maybe not a problem, more so uh, a curiosity about, it's the soft goods. And then we'll take a look at the articulation and everything. The face is obviously, obviously what everybody wants to see. So uh, the soft goods, it's the, you know, her little poncho from the movie. And I think it looks good, and it sits well on her with the hood down. And my assumption here is that that is how she is meant to be displayed, because the hood is actually stitched to the back of the cape, or the poncho, whatever you want to call it. So when you sit it up, it looks, it'll, it'll sit on her head, but the rest of it looks kind of weird. Um, I'm honestly not intending to use the poncho at all. I, I like her without it. Uh, it's not a bad thing that it was included. But if I'm assuming that's what it is, I have to infer from just, you know, common sense that they want it to lay down. And that added stitch does make it lay down really well. Uh, you're not going to be able to do this with the other figures as easily. Uh, so, you know, Luke, for example, his, his cloak is not going to lay down as well as this. This kind of wants to lay down. It wants to do this. And I think if you have her displayed this way, you'd probably be happy with that as well. However, I'm not going to do that. The soft goods on its own, though, not bad. I don't really have anything to complain about. It's it's just, you know, it's a curiosity. I don't know for sure that that's the intention here, uh, but that's certainly what it seems like. So we're going to pull that off. And here is the figure underneath. So we're going to start exactly where everybody wants to start, the face. Uh, I think this is for Black Series' first attempt at using this photo reel tech to make digitally printed faces. I think they knocked it out of the park. I am very, very pleased. This is miles different than the original Ray or the most recent Ray from Force Friday or on the uh, the deluxe version on the crate base. This thing is is pretty solid. I'm not going to say it's better than my Figure Arts Ray, but if you were on the fence between wanting to spend that extra money on a Figure Arts versus saying, well, I could just spend 20 bucks on a Black Series, you know, 20 bucks on a Black Series now, you're getting your money's worth, I think. We have kind of gone into a different level with face painting uh, in this line. We've kind of known for a while that the sculpts have been there, but face paint has been lacking. I do think that she looks better at different angles than others, and the one thing that I have a problem with, and it's kind of the way it goes with pretty much any figure usually, is that the expression leaves a little bit to be desired. There's not a whole lot of energy there. She's just sort of looking off, which on its own isn't a big deal. I'm not going to harp too much about that. The figure arts are kind of like that as well, so, you know, unless you go for the extra faces. And we're not going to get extra heads in this line, I don't expect, just based on past experiences. Don't don't bank on getting those. But this figure on its own, I think, is, is pretty solid. Uh, again, face paint is on point. The sculpt is clearly there. there. It is definitely a Daisy Ridley likeness, and I am, I am satisfied with it. Uh, this blows all the other rays out of the water. I've already said that. And it makes me want to not have the others on my shelf. This looks that good. So, you know, we've got a, do a different look for, for Ray. This is her kind of resistance type look. Uh, the packaging calls it, what, Island Journey or whatever it is. So, you know, we've got the arm wraps. We've got the extra little tunic, which is a rubbery, soft, kind of free-floating piece of plastic. Looks good. It's got some nice printed detail on it. So there is some depth to that. The wraps have a lot of wash on them. They're very dirty. We've got her holster with her... Her gun down in there and we've got the capri pants which are pretty standard for her at this point in the game uh, that's what she had for the majority of the most uh, the first part of the movie and we got her boots down there um not tons and tons and tons of paint on this figure outside of what you expect so we've got the the wash on the wraps we've got the brown on the belt and you know paint on the boots but for the most part i don't think she needs it 
where it's molded plastic, it's molded well. The flesh tones on the chest match the arms uh, decently enough. There is a little bit of bleed through what it looks like in the joints there but it might be kind of hard to pick up on camera. The hair is painted nicely, if it's a, if, if not for it being a little flat. Compared to the, I guess, realistic detail of the face, the hair definitely looks like an action figure. I do like the sculpt. I like the, you know, the, the buns, the knots in the back. It looks good. But it definitely looks, you know, it's a little different. It's, this is more action figure-y. This is definitely, you know, a little more lifelike, but not to the point where I'm going to, you know, cry over it or anything. So... Uh, we'll do articulation real quick. You're not going to be surprised or upset about this in any way. Standard stuff. Head can swivel up and down. Arms go all the way around and out. No, nothing at the uh, at the bicep, as is pretty much the norm for a female. We've got single joint at the elbow, which is pretty much a norm for Black Series anyway. We've got a vertical hinge on the right wrist. There is there is a waist twist here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there actually is a is a cut there, so she can twist it almost. It's hidden pretty well if you're looking at her dead on. Uh, there is a horizontal hinge. I guess that's the right way to describe it on the left wrist. Legs can go out a decent bit. Pretty pretty high kick though. That's more than 90 and back pretty far. Thigh cut, double joint at the knee. Although it's kind of ugly if you're looking at it dead on, but you're probably not gonna be. And then we've got rocker and hinge at the ankle so you're getting exactly what you think you're going to get it's a black series nothing new there nothing too crazy but it's everything we pretty much need except for maybe double jointed elbows but we know we know we're not going to get those all right now as far as accessories goes if you've got one ray you pretty much got this already depending on which one you have so we've got our gun it's already in our holster pretty much same gun we've always seen you're not getting anything new there we have got the same Skywalker lightsaber that we've had for a while now. Nothing too crazy there. Looks good. She can hold it just fine in either hand. And then, of course, we have her ever-present staff, which is the exact same thing that we've gotten. Uh, for the most part, the paint on it is a little bit different. The strap is actually not the same color as the original. And, you know, it's, it's just the, it's the staff. So you know what to expect. Standard accessories for Rey. Nothing too crazy. We're not missing anything. But, you know... Just like me, you're going to use the lightsaber. You're not displaying her with the staff. Obviously, we have to compare some figures here. So we've got the original Ray on the left. We've got the deluxe Ray on the right. That's the one that came with the crate base. And we've got the new figure in the middle. And I think it's blatantly obvious that this figure is leaps and bounds different, better, just ahead of these other two figures. This thing looks nothing like Daisy Ridley. The original Ray is rough to say the least. Um, I almost didn't put her on my shelf because I just don't really like the figure, uh, but she's there for now. And uh, this figure, while I like the design of her, she is just completely eclipsed by uh, the new Ray. So yeah, it's, it's painfully obvious now that Hasbro has basically made the old figures obsolete if they choose to remake them with this new technology. And of course, the new Ray against the Figure Arts Ray, and while I don't think the Black Series quite beats the Figure Arts, you can tell that there is some definite similarities here. Uh, I do prefer the Figure Arts, though, don't get me wrong. You definitely are getting a little higher quality, especially for the price point. But to the untrained eye and to your casual collector, there might not be a need for people to buy Figure Arts anymore. It just depends on what you want. I'm still going to buy them both. But uh, if I wasn't already in the Figure Arts game, I would think that this new tech that they're employing on the figures might make me think twice about getting started. Uh, that said, the articulation is still a night and day difference, so you know, don't think that they've changed anything there. But in terms of the faces, we have uh, you know definitely kind of leveled up here on Hasbro's part. So I think it's pretty obvious here that yes, I do like this figure. Yes, I do fully support the new technology that Hasbro is using here. Uh, it's it's unequivocally obvious that this figure is easily the best Ray that we have gotten in the line, and I couldn't be happier. I dig the look of this particular, uh, the style of the of the outfit she wears is my favorite for Ray in general. Uh, so that's a plus on its own for me. But the face is just, it's next level stuff here. Hasbro is 100% stepping up their game, doing what they need to do to be competitive with figure arts. They're not going to beat them, I don't think, but uh, for your for your $20 figure, you are definitely getting more 
uh, value for money at this point, and I am really looking forward to seeing where they take this. I don't want to have to rebuy my entire collection because they go back and redo everything, but at the same time, uh, I cannot fault them for making an improved figure. So, uh, yeah, if you find her, snatch her up right away. Definitely recommend it. So that's going to do it for this look at the Star Wars Black Series Ray figure from Hasbro. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, guys.